What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another little video today. I'm going to be reviewing the 3-1 win over Everton at Goodison Park this afternoon. Um, again, uh, like the West Ham game, a completely dominant performance, um, other than the first half an hour or so where it, it, it could have gone either way in the first half an hour, but even then... I'd say we were pretty dominant at that stage as well. Um, we we don't score too often um, in the first half at all in the in 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 the Premier League this season, let alone away from home. Um, let alone away from home um, as well. Um, Ruben Neves opening the scoring via a penalty in the seventh minute. I haven't uh, had a look um, at the highlights yet. I haven't had a chance to have a uh, look at the highlights yet. Uh, it's currently half past nine. I'm recording this, uh, and match today is on in about an hour. So I'll have a look at the highlights then. Uh, I haven't had, so I haven't had a chance to see um, how good the penalty was, um, and obviously uh, after the penalty. Uh, about just under 25 minutes later, uh, Andre Go Gomez um, replied for Everton uh, with a fantastic strike. Um, again, have, haven't uh, been able to see it for myself yet, but um, when I do, I'll be able to judge, in my opinion, how, how, how good that was. But yeah, um, Andre Gomez uh, replying for Everton. Um, uh, making it 1-1 after half an hour. Um, and even after that, um, I felt, I felt pretty confident we can still go on and bag three points because I just, I just felt like after 1-1, I felt like we, we would still go on and bag the three points because I feel like we would just, after the West Ham game, I just ha had an inkling that that we would, um, after, after 1-1, we could, we would go on and control the game and look for some opportunities to score on. And sure enough, uh, just before the half-time interval, Raul Jimenez put us back in front, um, r right on the half-time interval, uh, on the 45th minute, Raul Jimenez, um, in the best form of his life at the moment, scoring his fourth goal, uh, in his previous three games uh, to make it 2-1 and put us back in front just before half-time. Um, and, you know, I think I think that was deserved um, for us to go in into half-time um, in, in the lead. I think, I think it would have been a bit unjust if we went in at half-time at uh, only one one because I, f I felt like in the first half um, we we did enough um, to be in front uh, at half time uh, and so we were Raul Jimenez um, putting us in front just for the half time in full uh, to make it uh, two one to us um, at the break and we came out. Um, after half time, just as we'd uh, ended the first, and again we were completely dominant, um, and I guess there was even less threat from Everton. Everton just again had a, a really um, a bad day at the office, and they're on a really poor run of form at the moment. Um, a bit surprising because in 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 previous seasons you, you could you'd expect Everton to be winning games like this because obviously in previous seasons they've been um, they they've been usually finishing around seventh, which is ironically um, where we are right now. So um, in previous seasons you'd expect Everton to win this game, and especially if if. Uh, they came out um, after after half time, uh, two one down, uh, chasing the game. You'd expect um, a, a a team like Everton um, 
from years gone by, you'd you'd expect them to, um, you'd ex- you'd expect them to fight back and 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 potentially, um, at least grab a point. But you you'd expect them to go out there two one down, chasing the game, and uh, and go on and, and and claw the game back and win the game. But it was a completely it was, compared to years gone by this Everton side that came out after half time you know after conceding just before half time they were completely shell shocked and they they just didn't offer any threat going forward um well very rarely anyway they they very rarely offered any threat going forward and 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 we um got a three one lead just to uh, make sure of the points really. Um Den Donker a bit unlucky, um against at West Ham not to score a goal. Um he had uh one chance um against West Ham um that unfortunately didn't for him didn't end up in the back of the net. Uh, and I believe he, he did have a chance um, earlier in the game as well that he didn't take. Um, um, but uh, yeah, he took that one. He he, he took that one, and um, that was just to make sure the points really, and we we could we could just um, just uh, really just ride the game out and um, make sure we comfortably got a win, which we did. Um, obviously Everton had the fair share of possession, but they didn't really do it an awful lot with it, and and in the end, it was a pretty comfortable victory for us in the end. Um, and we're on great form at the moment. We really are on fantastic on a fantastic run of form. Uh, beating West Ham three 0 and now beating Everton three one, scoring six goals in 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 our last. Uh, two games and only conceding one, scoring six and conceding one in our uh, last two Premier League games. That just shows um, what run of form um, we are on at the moment, especially goal scoring form. You know, um, at the start of the season we weren't doing too great um, in terms of uh, in in terms of scoring. We were a bit lacking in that department. But as the season uh, has developed and we have have settled into life in the Premier League, scoring has definitely um, become less of a problem and has become definitely a lot easier as the season uh, has gone on. And we are in rich vein uh, of goal scoring form at the moment, especially Raul Jimenez. Um, in great form at the moment, obviously scoring four goals in his last three, and hopefully that continues um, into Tuesday, not in, in into the game on Tuesday night uh, at home to Shrewsbury in the fourth round replay of the FA Cup. Which, if we win, we get a fifth round tie away at Bristol City, which is a very good opportunity for us to. Um, a very, very good opportunity for us um, to advance into the quarterfinals and go on a real cup run this season. Um, but yeah, um, if you did enjoy this review, make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you um, on Wednesday with a review of the Shrewsbury game. Until then, Goodbye, guys.